a reading from the prophet Daniel chapter 3 verses 25 and 34 to 43 let our sacrifice to you today be a contrite soul and humble spirit azaria stood in the heart of the fire and he began to pray o oh, do not abandon us forever for the sake of your name do not repudiate your covenant Do not withdraw your favor from us for the sake of Abraham your friend of Isaac your servant and of Israel your holy one to whom you promised descendants as countless as the stars of heaven and as the grains of sand on the seashore Lord now we are least of all the nations now we are despised throughout the world today because of our sins we have at this time no leader no prophet no prince no holocaust no sacrifice no oblation no incense no place where we can offer you the first fruits and win your favor but may the contrite soul the humble spirit be as acceptable to you as holocaust of rams and bullocks as thousands of fat and lambs such let a sacrifice be to you today and may it be a holy will that we follow you wholeheartedly since those who put their trust in you will not be disappointed and now we put our whole heart into following you into fearing you and seeking your face once more do not disappoint us Treat us gently as you yourself are gentle and very merciful. Grant us deliverance worthy of your wonderful deeds. Let your name win glory, Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. Remember your mercy, Lord. Remember your mercy, Lord. Lord Make me know your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Make me walk in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Response: Remember your mercy, Lord. In you I hope all day long because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercy, Lord, and the love you have shown from the old. Do not remember the sins of my youth. In your love, remember me. Response. Remember your mercy Lord. The Lord is good and upright. He shows the path to those who stray. He guides the humble in the right path. He teaches his way to the poor. Response. Remember your mercy Lord. Gospel acclamation. Glory and praise to you O Christ. Blessed are those who with a noble and generous heart take the word of god to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance glory and praise to you o christ the lord be with you and, and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord chapter 18 verses 21 to 35 Peter went up to Jesus and said, "Lord, how often I must forgive my brother if he wrongs me? As often as 7 times?" Jesus answered, "Not 7, I tell you, but 77 times." And so the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who decided to settle his accounts with his servants when the reckoning began they brought him a man who owed 10000 talents but he had no means of paying so his master gave orders that he should be sold together with his wife and children and all his possessions to meet the debt at this the servant threw himself down at his master's feet 
Give me time, he said, and I will pay the whole sum. And the servant's master felt so sorry for him that he let him go and cancel the debt. Now as this servant went out, he happened to meet a fellow servant who owed him one hundred denarii. And he seized him by the throat and began to throttle him. Pay what you owe me, he said. His fellow servant fell at his feet and implored him, saying, Give me time and I will pay you. But the other would not agree. On the contrary, he had him thrown into prison till he should pay the debt. His fellow servants were deeply distressed when they saw what had happened. And they went to their master and reported the whole affair to him. Then the master sent for him. You wicked servant, he said, I cancelled all that debt of yours when you appealed to me. Were you not bound then to have pity on your fellow servant just as I had pity on you? And in his anger, the master handed him over to the torturers till he should pay all his debt. And that is how my heavenly Father will deal with you unless you each forgive your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel for today focuses on forgiving others. Peter asked Jesus, How often should we forgive our neighbor? Seven times? In semantic understanding, seven is a round figure. And therefore, Peter thinks generous in his implication, generous in its implications. But Jesus answered, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Whether the number can be interpreted as seventy-seven or four ninety times, or seventy, raised to the power of seven. The point is that there can be no limits to our willingness to forgive. In other words, endlessly, constantly, without calculation. Under Jesus, there is no limit in terms of love, forgiveness and mercy. This is precisely why the gospel makes the link between God's forgiveness for us and our forgiveness of one another. The correlation between the two modes of forgiveness is clearly spelt out in the Lord's Prayer. Amen. <laughs> 